So in summary, uh, to summarize what, where we've come to so far in the conference, um, this morning we heard from Clementine Ford, who tells us that one woman is killed every week by a partner or ex-partner in Australia, and one in three women experiences abuse in her lifetime. Clementine provided examples of how the media contributes to the problem by depicting men as happy and normal, uh, men who just snapped one day, and a media that depicts violence as excusable, particularly towards women who um, are disabled, or women who are sex workers, or women who are transgendered, or women who are, continue and continue. Um, the media provokes the, it pro promotes the view that it is mental health issues that is the cause of violence against women, um, rather than the structural in inequalities between women and men that are responsible for men's violence. There's a prevailing myth that these men are monsters, when really they are average men. Um, so Clementine was challenging this myth. Uh, after that, we heard from a panel. We heard from Lisette Ahrens from the ABS, who told us that women experience violence differently to men, mainly that women are more likely to experience sexual violence, ongoing violence, violence that is from a partner, violence that is behind closed doors, specifically in the home. We heard from Jody Martin from Women's Health Grampians, who tells us that um, Violence is not just physical abuse, but it's emotional and economic abuse as well. We heard from Detective Senior Sergeant Cam Davis, who emphasized, that the gender, who emphasized the gendered nature of violence, that it is overwhelmingly men abusing women in our society, and that family violence, even the, the terrible stats that we do have, what we do know is that it's underreported. So the stats that we have are actually an incomplete picture of family violence. And we heard from Fiona McCormack from DV Vic, who says it's not enough to just be nonviolent, um, but that people who are nonviolent are actually oblivious to how they contribute to a culture of violence against women. So the speakers together called for um, the way forward to be about engaging men, that we need more resources from um, from state and national governments, and that we need a whole of community approach in order to tackle prevention of violence against women. That's the summary so far, so um, we'll summarize again tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks.